Okay, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. I know a lot of people were waiting to see the latest filming of the lunar wave, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I want to take a minute to thank all the subs that came over to the examiner. It's so cool that everybody did that to support the work I do. Um, the examiner is what offsets my costs of filming, and uh, I film for endless hours. So thank you all so much. And again, the link to subscribe to me will be in the description of this video. At any rate, the lunar wave footage that we're going to look at today comes from Berlin, Germany. Um, and here is just an excerpt of the conversation from the gentleman, and I don't know if he wants me to say his name, so I will refer to him as Weg. I'm sure this is in German, so I don't want to butcher the pronunciation. Um, I think it's very important to ask people to run their work and get permission to do that. People put a lot of effort into filming and other things, so uh, here is the excerpt where... Uh, what the guy will call Weg in Berlin, let me do that. So here is the original footage in the original size. It's untouched by me. Um, I am waiting to hopefully get the original unedited clip, and if I get that, I will re-edit it and run that for everyone. There's the wave coming in on the left. Now, I'm going to make this a bit more visible, but if you look down under the wave as it travels, you will see it traveling across the face of the moon, particularly on the second wave there. That camera pan was critical, and I'll show you in the next footage why. It proves that we're looking at a filmed event. Okay, so here we go. This is the full footage, but now I've enlarged it, and I've run some brightness, contrast, and other things to make it more visible. As we swing over to the left side of the upper limb, the wave will come in on the left. There it is. Now, if you look down on the face of the moon underneath it, you can clearly see the wave traveling. As we always see, here comes the second wave. Now, this camera pan, right... Here, look, it did not affect that wave one bit. That proves that it is completely nothing to do with equipment. And at this point, we've seen enough lunar waves that those who have been paying attention and watching the evidence, we know what we're looking at here. All right, here's another view with some filters, and I tried to run it so that we could see the actual wave crossing the face. You're going to need a big screen and a good view, and again, all I have to work with here is the encoded small version, and hopefully the gentleman Wegg will uh, send me the original footage. If he chooses to do that, I will do a better edit than this. It's just difficult to re-edit it you know already edited video this is a good view uh, what's what's cool about this for me is just how close the view is and the angle of the wave in relationship to the loon, limb of the moon we have not seen that before so the view of the actual lip of the moon there and the angle that the wave is traveling uh, is interesting to me here it comes again on the left at even a closer view and here you can pretty easily see the wave traveling across the face of the moon and there is the second wave. And for those who have followed, the waves always come in pairs. That is one of the distinct fingerprints that you're looking at a lunar wave. And here is a slightly reduced in size version uh, with brightness, contrast, and some other things. And we're going to take one more look at this footage um, after this clip runs out. And, uh, and then hopefully I'll be able to get uh, the original footage, and, and if I'm able, I will try to do a more clear edit. And here's the last view. And I just want to thank the gentleman in Berlin. Thank you so much for taking the effort to do this. I know how hard it is to film the moon um, for hours on end, but you have totally added to what we know. This is a unique view of the lunar wave. And uh, I thank you, sir, and thank you for allowing me to run the footage. At any rate, um, thanks to everyone who came and subscribed to me at the Examiner. The link is down in the description of this video. Um, I urge everyone to do it. It's what allows me to offset the cost of filming and be near my camera equipment. Anyhow, thank you all so much. Cheers.